Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. This is Christy with AG Takes Over and I'm zooming right in right away um, because I want to show you everything I have in Mary Ellen's collection. Starting with this diner. There is no preamble um, because you can see it's already a long video. So you know the drill. If you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. But just want to show you the details of each of the items that we own in her collection. And I have to take a couple minutes to talk about this sad burger bun. Um, I might put pictures in of the American Girl of Today picnic set so you can see the difference. It is a clever design that the tomatoes fit inside the top bun and that the cheese is kind of curved to fit right over the burger. I think that design is really smart. Just what the heck is up with the top of this bun? All right. Next, these are the plates that come with the original diner, which is the one that we have, and they're plastic. Um, I don't mind that. I just want to contrast that later, but they are plastic. Um, the set comes with several of these little um, paper bowls and a couple sets of fries, but they're sharing a basket of fries. My imaginary diner's over there with their lovely milkshakes. Nice, sparkly, formica-looking countertop. This metal um, edging is actually plastic edging, but these two pieces are metal. They're, you know, they're what give the weight to the table so that it doesn't flop over when you barely tap it. This piece, as many of you know, is movable, which is very nice because you can do this with it, which will be more relevant later. And then it comes with lots and lots of stickers. We bought this used, so some of the stickers were already placed. Some of them were placed very randomly, clearly by a child, and fortunately they came off and we were able to re-stick them over here. And then we, um, I believe the set comes with one paper hat, and one apron and somehow in the various lots that we have purchased we ended up with two paper hats and not one not two but three of the aprons so actually I'm going to be on a mission to find a printable of the hat so that we can have three the bar stool spin and you can see that they had that very long CVS receipt length um, tag that we had to cut off I think the previous owners took care of that for us, but it's got a nice pad on it, nice and squishy. This is just painted on. It's not um, the texture of any kind of tile. It's not painted, but kind of printed on. Um, again, the plastic edging does look like metal. The bell actually does ring. And the countertop's got the flex in it to match this kind of muted pink and light teal cute checks. Um, I think those straws might be from the OG, the Our Generation um, milkshake set because I use that with this, but I forgot to take the straws off. Anyway, the guest checks, I think this is really cute. There are five of them, I believe, so you don't always have to have people ordering the same thing, and they've got the breakfast and lunch options because this comes with both. This one does not, um, that sign does not light up like the new one. Anyway, here are the food options. I have to say this looks horribly unappealing. Again, I don't know who was in charge of the coloring. The hot dogs look fine. They look fine, but um, yeah, the rest of it looks very unappealing. Excuse the out of focus moment there. Now we are behind in the kitchen area. Just showing you some of the additional things it came with. And it's a tight squeeze for me, so you're not going to get to see all of this super clear. But there's the grill and some extra storage space. And I mentioned it's nice that you can move this around. I extended the wall back there, and here's the jukebox. And if I can manage to walk and, or talk and chew gum at the same time... Of 
There are six songs available. Bear with me. I don't know. Um, I didn't play all six, obviously, and I didn't play them in their entirety or this video would be even longer, but um, I just wanted you to hear some of the music. All right. I like how they made the American Girl logo at the very bottom look retro, so they made it fit. I've got one donut flipped over the wrong way for some reason. Some pies. Again, the top of the crust of those pies looks undercooked. I don't know why everything in this set that should have a little bit more of a golden brown does not. Anyway, here's the comparison in the plates from the bakery case, which was sold separately and released afterwards. It is worth pointing out, everybody says the quality goes downhill, but the glass plates are the more recent ones, so I thought that was interesting. And this bakery case comes with two journals, the Daytona Beach Morning Journal. Um, it's going to be a little tough for me to keep it in focus and hold the camera, but I wanted to show you this in case you've never gotten to see all of the pages. It is printed on all four pages. Ask your grocer for Sudzo. I love the great American way to solve everyday problems is the classified ads because newspapers, of course, don't do that anymore. You're lucky if a newspaper exists in print format. But I do, from my childhood, remember looking at the classified ads. For those of you who don't know, they would list garage sales, um, job postings, specific items for sale. Some papers would have like a missed connections or um, personals, but I don't think that my newspaper did. Anyway, I think this is really cute. <laughs> And again, this is a more recent item, so um, we do hear the complaint about quality a lot, but I think that there's a lot of thoughtful detail in this. Like, this has coins inside it. And they it feels and sounds like metal coins, not plastic coins, so. The cash register... It's not a metal one like um, Samantha's Ice Cream Parlor one is. And I don't know for this era because um, Mary Ellen's time predates mine. But I don't know for this era if it would be appropriate for it to be plastic or if metal would have been more in line. If anyone was a cashier during that time, let me know in the comments. And then here are the rest of the stickers that came with the bakery case that we have not used yet. I bought the bakery case new, so I actually got to pick where those stickers went. But the um, diner itself, just everything was kind of already on there and we moved what we could. All right, so that's the big ticket item items, the diner and the bakery case and the jukebox. We don't have any of her like furniture. Her, I've considered getting her couch because that can look modern. Most of my, if you've seen my dollhouse tour, they're all modern stuff. Um, but the TV and the refrigerator and everything, I would feel like if I got those, then I need to, what would happen is I'd either not end up using them, which makes no sense to buy them, um, or I would feel the need to make a whole kind of retro living space in our dollhouse and I just don't have that space and it gets expensive. This is what I've said before. 
regardless of how much I like the historical collections, it's a lot more expensive to outfit a room historically accurate than it is to go to Target and find things at the bullseye section that you can put in a modern dollhouse. So it's not, it's not really a matter of I don't like the historical stuff or I wouldn't like to have a historical room, but you know, if somebody else wants to pay for it, do it. Yes. But um, anyway, the diner, I feel like I can put a backdrop up and it can be its own standalone thing for photo shoots and it has a lot of play value for my kid and, you know, the price was right. Um, so I've got Mary Ellen here with me and she's so cute. Um, I will confess that we, we don't have a permanent Mary Ellen in our home. This, this little girl is actually for sale, so if anybody's interested, um, she is for sale. This is one of those dolls like Courtney where I really like the collection. I really like the clothes, but I'm not super attached to the doll. Um, so it's not that she's not cute just for our collection and it's a large collection. Um, we kind of have to be, there's not room for everybody. So sorry, girl, you're adorable though. Um, but we do have a lot of her clothes. So this is the most recent. Um, I think it's still available. She's not wearing underwear. Anyway, she doesn't have undies on. Um, this is her cowgirl outfit and it was released last year in 2022. No Velcro. These are all buttons and they're the kind of pearlescent buttons. Fringe, actual embroidering here. I, I forget how much this was. It wasn't one of the cheaper outfits, but I really think that it's nicely done. Um, it's a felt hat, but it's not flimsy at all. It's very much like a, I've seen hats of that quality at the rodeo in Houston, Texas. So, you know, nothing to sneeze at. Um, the denim skirt is Velcroed in the back. It's really nice. Um, I feel like it would be snug on a PC girl, but it's not, it's not as small as some of the clothes that I've seen recently. Overall, I was really happy with this. And I think if you want her dressing up just year round and she's having fun and she's getting in touch with her inner rodeo girl or inner, inner cow girl, then that's great. Also for us, it'll make a great Halloween costume. So there she is in her cowgirl outfit. And um, I don't really have an order for things. I might try to put them in order. Um, but I'm just going to go through and show you all the outfits that we have. So there will be pauses in between because, um, after each outfit, I want to kind of pause and show you a doll dressed in it. Cause I'm just showing you the outfit and talking about it and then I'll show you a doll in it. So that's the plan. All right. So I guess it makes sense to start with her meat outfit. That's why she doesn't have undies on. Cause I took them off to show you the meat outfit anyway. Here is her meat outfit. Most of you have seen this, so I'm not going to spend a long time on it. But um, for those of you who aren't familiar with her, it's got ribbon. Very cute details here. Embroidered little shawl. I think this is super sweet. I know that AG gravity. <laughs> and here are the black shoes. The only way that these shoes match is because of the monogram. And maybe that's why they went with black or just because they knew you'd get a lot of use out of them. Anyway, um, I know that AG does a lot of pink. I also just think it really works with this doll. I think this is an adorable meat outfit. And I love that this is not attached. It's its own separate piece. So um, if you want to put different colors with this, that's very easy. And if you want to use this on different outfits, that's super easy as well. So yes, big fan of this meat outfit. Pause for picture of doll in meat outfit. Okay. Next, I'm just going to go with what's closest to me. Um, so her pajamas came out the same year. She has two sets of pajamas, but her first pajamas came out this um, 2015. All of the original parts of her collection came out in 2015. So here it is. It's this adorable top. Little bows on the shoulders. And I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but this is, um, all of these little white dots are very textured. I feel like that's not going to pick it up, but, um, 
if you run your fingers over this, you can really feel, thanks, focus. Um, you can really feel the texture. So I like that. I prefer these to the newer pajamas because, and it might just be that these particular ones are more broken in, so they feel softer than the, um, the new ones feel kind of like a very low thread count sheet. Um, but maybe once they get broken in, they feel as nice as these two. Here are the little britches or bloomers. And then it has a matching bonnet. The bonnet also has a bow. Mine comes with bonus pet hair, as all of their clothes do. And some matching shoes. So you can't hold it all up very well, but there you go. I will say that the current, the newer pajamas, the shoes make more sense because these are like, I use these with regular outfits. It's kind of nice because AG doesn't make a lot of green shoes, so I do use these with regular outfits, but I don't know. These don't scream slippers to me, so I think that's a little bit of an odd choice. Anyway, here's a picture of one of our dolls wearing these pajamas. All right, next up, I'm gonna go with, what's off to my left? Mary Ellen's fur covered ice skating set. So this ice skating outfit also came out in 2015. And I'm not gonna recall very well which parts are the accessories and which parts are the outfit, but we have both of them. So I'm just gonna show it to you all at once. Um, I really like these. I like that they have actual laces. I remember in um, one of Now and Forever AG's videos about her Mia collection, she was saying she likes Mia's because they're actual laces and a lot of them are like stretchy elastic now. So, like that. Doesn't even seem to be a then versus now. It seems to just be kind of a crapshoot. Maybe it's about the price point of the outfit, but anyway, nice, thick, solid metal blades and laces and then we've got some tights to go with that and a scarf um, one thing I like about this scarf is it looks like it's tied but if you're the kind of person who's like I can never tie bows or I can't tie knots to get them to lay flat it's actually just velcro so you, you know there you go and this hat, which is super fun because it's just ginormous. It's like a, you know, like a, a nightcap, but it's not. It's for ice skating, apparently. I think it's super cute. And her little mittens. So all of these things together, and again, I'm not gonna be able to hold it all up very well, but um, super cohesive look. I really like it that ice skating dress can be prone to pilling because we've had we've gotten several of them in lots and we've sold several of them and we always have to pay attention if there's any pilling to lower the price but um, yeah I like it she has a good collection if any of you are like Mary Ellen's my ride or die I don't I'm not that way about her but I kind of understand why because her collection is pretty awesome all right pause for a picture of somebody wearing that outfit Right, moving on in no particular order, I've got on a My Life As hanger, her birthday dress. Um, this was also released in 2015. I need to iron the ribbon, but it's an excellent shape. And we were not collecting in 2015, so everything we've gotten, we've gotten secondhand. I mean, unless it's the newer stuff. Because I hadn't started collecting yet, and my wife hadn't started collecting again. So, but it came with obligatory mile long. Um, does anybody, what do you do with these? Does anybody keep them on? I'm so tempted to just. I don't know, I would take it off even more than this. What I don't like about it is, let's say, you wanna have a headband this way. Cool, this is in the back. 
But if you wanted to flip it around, it doesn't work as well on this, oh yeah, it does. If you wanted to flip it around to this side, then you have this in the front. Ugh. Anyway, why do they need tags on these? Just so I can know that it's AG. All right, and they come with these shoes, which match with the bow. There's nothing white in it, so I'm not sure why it needs white, but it works. I think it's cute. These are really not showing up well. There we go. Okay, so there's that outfit. Focus, focus is not my friend. For the camera or sometimes for me. All right, next one, I'm just gonna stick with dresses. I mean, most of her stuff is dresses, but I've got one handy. Next up is her Christmas dress. And this, her Christmas party outfit, officially called, was released in 2016. Super cute as is, right? It's got a matching hair bow. And some shoes. So if it's not super cold, she could just wear this because she is in Daytona, Florida, so. Um, but she's also got another pair of those thick white or thick cream tights. I'm just gonna hang over here. And then she's got her mohair, angora, whatever you wanna call this, sweater, shawl, thing. And again, my kingdom for a camera that focuses. Um, again, they did a really nice job with giving her these separate pieces. So you can put a different color shawl on there. You can have no shawl on there. Um, you can put it with a Christmas coat and then you wouldn't have the bulk of this. But you also have this as a nice accessory for other pieces. So it was, it was well designed. I like it. All right, pause for a picture of somebody wearing that. Next up is something that is still available. So if you see it and you like it, you don't have to pay an arm and a leg for it yet. Watch, it'll somehow not be available by the time this airs. Everybody know what this goes to? Her sledding outfit. Pretty much every bit of this is great as uh, its own pieces. So it, this is the outfit. I'm not gonna be able to hold up everything like as an outfit, that's why I'm putting pictures afterwards, but I'm gonna show you each of the pieces. So there's this lovely belt that is almost a perfect match to her birthday dress, not that you would use it with her birthday dress, but just fun fact. Um, this <laughs> cute hat, which when you put it with the jacket, it looks like it's attached, but it's not because they were designing these things their thinking caps on. Here's the jacket. So when you put it on, looks like they're attached. They're not. And then there's just a plain cream colored. I don't know how well the cream color is going to show up with this ring light on, but it's not white. I will say it, one of the downsides of this color is that it looks like it was supposed to be white and was hanging out in a smoker's house for a decade, but it's not, it just came cream colored. And then here are the overalls with actual metal buttons and stirrups, stirrups, whatever. These are super smart because you're trying to tuck these pants in and then put those tall boots on over it. If they didn't have these, they're just gonna shove the pants right up her leg and be frustrated. So, very smart. Um, I kind of wouldn't mind if these came off just so that you could have the option of them without, but I guess you could always just tuck them down. You probably wouldn't even notice if you just wanted them not to be suspenders, but. 
I like it. We have not gotten the sled yet, but um, it's on my list just because that's the sledding outfit. Kind of wanted to have the sled, and also we don't have a sled for our dolls, so I think they need one. All right, I'm going to show you a picture of that, and we'll move on to the next one. All right, had to run upstairs because I forgot that the next outfit is on someone. So here is Miss Jade. She is our Truly Me 64, and she's obviously wearing the poodle skirt outfit and the crinoline. So, um, unlike the cowgirl outfit, these buttons are fake. I mean, they're real buttons, but they you don't button this shirt. It's Velcroed, so. Doesn't make me like the outfit any less. There are her shoes. If I can get them in focus. There we go. I think the stock photo shows the socks rolled over. I don't care. You buy the outfit, you get to wear it or style it however you want. And then she's got this cute little bandana. There we go. I really like this outfit. We also have the um, Agot sock hop poodle skirt outfit that's actually a costume um, and I really like it too they just have very different feels um, I like this is not textured the polka dots on this one unlike her pajamas are not textured but I just really like it yeah super cute and she's super cute she is a newer Jess mold which is not my favorite but she's not the newest Jess mold so She's like somewhere in the middle, but as far as newer Jess molds go, she's really nice. All right, next up is her pretty pink dress. Yeah, it's such a pretty pink dress that they called it the pretty pink dress. And this was released in 2019. I think it's still available. I'll have to check that, but um, I think so. I don't know, we got it kind of feeling like it might be discontinued and then we'll kick ourselves, but I think then it was available for long after that. Um, this is embroidery, it's not printed. So this was a pricier item, but look how delicate that is. I don't mind paying more if it's very nice. <laughs> I do mind paying the price that they're asking for Nikki's, no, yeah, for Nikki's pajamas. Like, it's a nightgown and some slippers, come on now. I don't know if you can see that, but there is a, there's a print here with a lot of flowers on it. It's really pretty. And she has these pearlescent shoes, they're kind of, they're not cream colored in the sense, um, in the same way that the sledding outfit shirt is, these are more like opal, opal pearlescent, whatever. And then these cute mittens. So there's that outfit. And we do have the crinoline, but like I said, Jade's over there wearing it, so. All right, I am down to four outfits. Yep, just four more. And then I think I've got her um, Christmas cookies set somewhere around in the Christmas stuff, so I might pull that out and show it to you, but I'll do that at the end. All right, da da da. Here is her vacation play suit, All right? That's what it's called? Yes, 2018 vacation play suit. So it's got her bandana kerchief, whatever you want to call it. Gingham, that's now two outfits, right? Her cowgirl outfit and this one have the gingham in them. She is a gingham girl. These plain white sandals, gosh, it's so bright. Let me see if I can turn this down just for a minute at least. There we go. I use these all the time. Like, all the time. Do they make other plain, just like simple white sandals? I don't know, but I'm constantly stealing these from her outfit. All right, so most of you probably know this, but it is a separate two pieces. So you have the 
little shorts swimsuit. It's got um, no Velcro in it because the back is super stretchy. And I mean, it does have Velcro. It has Velcro at the neckline, but yeah. The rest of it, no Velcro. And here's the little skirt that goes over it if you want it for modesty or cuteness purposes. Oh my gosh. I love it. I love it. So many good outfits in her collection. I've not even tried to think of if I have a favorite, but I don't know. Next up is her play outfit. So I'll tell you right now, the buttons aren't functional. They're just decorative. So I do not have her strawberry outfit, but we do have her cherries outfit. AKA the play outfit. Very like appropriate to the times, but also you could use these now. I mean, this is kind of, it's definitely dated, but it's also cute and everything old is new again at some point. So there's that. And it comes with more gingham. So this is the third outfit with gingham, right? And these perfect cherry shoes, which are at once Mary Ellen and also Betty Page, pinup, like tattoo, flash art. They're so cute. Here, I didn't turn the light, gotta turn the light back up. Talking to myself. It's late, friends, it's late. All right, mm, which one do I do next? Next, here's, I'm going to do it one at a time. Do you know what that goes to? If you didn't, do you now know? Also, I'm just also pointing out that all of these pieces are really good on their own. There's a brag coming on and I'm so sorry. It's not, the brag isn't that we have this. The brag is the price. So it is her flamingo swimsuit, which I don't know. I don't keep track of what the price is right now because I'm not, I don't have one that I'm trying to sell, but um, it's not cheap, right? One that is complete like this is probably, I don't know, is a hundred, right? Does that sound about right? Collector friends. It's super cute. Again, um, just like her vacation play suit, there's enough stretchy material in the back that they didn't need to put Velcro, which is lovely. And the only Velcro is at the neckline. So um, flamingos there, her little flamingo purse, and these shoes, which are so versatile, they would go perfectly with Nanea's new swimsuit. I mean, I know Nanea's shoes match it, but a Nanea swimsuit shoes would match this one for that matter. But yeah, so do not wish me ill. Just celebrate. I would celebrate if you got a great deal. Celebrate that I got this for $7. It was one of those things where I went to somebody's house to buy one item and if somebody has something that I like, I usually say, do you have any other American Girl stuff you're selling? Maybe you haven't listed it yet. And it was local. And the guy said, yeah, a ton. My daughter just grew out of everything, but I haven't even priced it all. I haven't even gotten everything together. Can I call you and can I like message you in a week or so? And I was like, yeah, sure. So I came back out and um, got the diner, not the bakery case, but um, the diner. Um, Luciana's Mars Habitat, the Grand Hotel, and the pool, which was the thing that I originally went for, and a bunch of outfits. And he was just like, um, $8 for the dresses and $7 for the other outfits or something like that. <laughs> okay, that sounds good. Sure. 
he bought them. He knows what he paid for them, so he knows he's selling them under retail. He doesn't know, like, they obviously go for more than retail. And I didn't, obviously, I didn't get it to resell. I just wanted it. So, yeah. Um, also, I don't know if you've ever been in this situation, but everything was not with the right thing. So he had everything laid out on a table, like, look, I've put these outfits together. And you're like, oh, sweetie, but that's all wrong. And I said, do you mind? And I proceeded to put everything paired up with the right outfits. And I said, even the ones that I'm not going to buy, I still just, if somebody else comes afterwards, it would be nice for you to like know which things go with which. So plus I wanted at least the pieces that the outfits that I got to be accurate. So yeah, I spent $425 at that person's house and got those three big ticket items plus the pool plus a bunch of outfits. So it was a score. It was a big purchase, but it was a score. Um, the last outfit is not technically one of her outfits, but I thought you might appreciate seeing this. Some of you have seen it and some of you have not, but um, there were three prototypes for Mary Ellen's meat dress before they actually settled on the one that she is sold in. And this was one of them. So it's obviously a reproduction. Pretty sure they didn't. Yeah, it's a reproduction, but I will share pictures of the three meat outfit prototypes that were leaked or shared or whatever and you can tell me um i think it's a pretty good reproduction the prototype comes with little white mittens or gloves or whatever um and just some white shoes but i do have the little bandana And I would love to get the other two prototypes. So if you know of anybody who sells reproductions of them, please let me know in the comments. I think they're both adorable, but yeah, they're super cute. Um, other than the Christmas cookies, which I'll probably come back on and show you, that is it. That's everybody. So I hope that you enjoyed this. Um, I mentioned five dolls that we have like enough of their collection to do this kind of video. And it was Mary Ellen, Julie, Rebecca, Courtney, and Grace. And um, I just decided to start with Mary Ellen, but I will either maybe do a poll and see who comes next, or I'll just do a randomizer because I'm happy to use that randomizer button. Um, all right, so I'm going to show you the other stuff in a couple minutes. See you soon. All right, I think I got it all. Try to grab everything quickly. The apron is somewhere maybe not handy but if I can ever get this out of the bag you'll at least get to see the cookie set so here is the tray and here is the little cookie cutters box I know it's backwards, but we're going to survive. Little cookie cutter, snowman, plus snowman cookie, Christmas tree, snowflake, no, just kidding, star. reindeer and ornament so, like I said I know that we have the complete set so if anything is missing other than the apron it is somewhere in this giant tent um, giant bin of Christmas AG decorations but anyway all the cookies and their cookie cutters and the bin. Now that's really it. Thank you so much for sticking through the whole video. I hope you enjoyed it and um, thanks for watching. Hope to see you next time.